So, yeah. And now there is a minor issue here because we have some of the, the gray part of the, the screen is uh, present up here. Um, so actually I have set uh, the limits of, of the internal screen uh, in an undesirable way, but let's just continue on that. Um, so what was it? 3 over 5 plus 4 over 7. To figure this out, we need to locate uh, a common denominator. So we can write it in this form with a common denominator here, which you need to fill out in, in just a moment, and then some values up here. So write in what the common denominator should be here, and you are given a few seconds to do that. Okay, to figure out the common denominator, we can take the product of the two denominators. So we have 5 times uh, 7, which is uh, 35, and, and that will be the common denominator. Um, and then we need to figure out what should be on, on top uh, up here. Um, I would like to shift it here. So, um, so to get from 5 to the, our common denominator, we can multiply by 7. So we can say 3 times 7 divided by 5 times 7 plus, and then to get 7 to 35, we need to multiply with uh, 5. Um, yes, and uh, that's uh, 4 times 5 and 7 times 5. And then we can reduce this. Uh, we can also put in a, a new question for the students to say, okay, what will be in this part and what will be in the part over here? Um, so we pause and ask the students to fill out this and give them just, just a moment. And then we can say, okay, the answer here should be 3 times 7, so it would be 21, and 4 times uh, 5 would be 20. And finally, we can add this all to, up together to say, put this on a common uh, fraction, um, like this, and finally add the two numbers, so we have our result down here. 